Hello guys and welcome to this next video. Now this one is going to show you um, what I have found as my best weapons. The, the weapons I love to play with and I'm going to end off the video with my favourite loadout. Now look, number one. This is my number one favourite weapon. It's the Shredder. Now it's absolutely awesome gun. Now you need to get, to get this, you need to get to Karma level 6. Just keep going around doing the Karma missions. Find um, the Manny Wheels. Do anything that's purple related on the map to get this weapon. Believe me, it's fairly quick to get if you just follow some of the tips I had in previous videos. Now look, here we go. This shows you um, the recoil of this weapon. Now it is, it has got a fair amount of recoil, um, which seems to drift off to the right or to the left. For me, it always drifts off to the right. But look, it's handleable. Okay, I mean, if that's a word, it's, it, you can handle it. Um, you just need to uh, get used to using the gun, but it is so quick to kill. You don't need to worry too much about that recoil. As you can see in these clips, it is awesome. You can you can pretty much take these guys out um, with a couple of uh, a couple of microseconds of, of fire. Look at that. It's, it's just a wicked gun. Absolutely recommend it. Now, this takes a long time to unlock. The Bushman. Now, the way you get this is by getting to rank 10 in the arena, um, which I think is in a place called Shakath. It's a little bit into the story. Um, the quickest way to unlock this weapon, the quickest way, is to download um, the Far Cry 4 Arena Master app for your iPhone or for your Android phone. Um, but here we go. Look at this recoil. It's pretty horrendous, right? It's At least it's in a straight line, so if you aim for somewhere in the midriff, um, you'll end up getting a headshot maybe a few seconds later. But it's a great gun. Um, it is well worth well worth picking up. It's well worth playing. It's got high damage. That's why I like it. Um, it's. It, I have to say though, um, the Shredder is my personal favourite of the two. But this is an amazing weapon, and it's well worth doing. I mean, I absolutely love the way it looks. It's better. I mean, look at the sight on it. You've got this nice sort of razor, uh, razor, laser uh, dot sight, and then a, a light over the top of your your scope there. I mean, it just looks good. Um, and is as an AR, it's awesome. Um, it takes out great at long range, great at short range, um, quick fire, really short bursts, will will kill a lot of people. Um, it is a great gun to use. Okay, next up, now this is an absolute must-have, the Autocross. It's basically a little mini single handheld crossbow, um, which is a sidearm, yeah? Okay, so this is one that you can put in the top slot of your loadout. Um, to get this, though, it takes a little bit of grinding. You need to unlock 17 bell towers. Now if you look at some of my previous tip videos I'll show you how to fairly easily get uh, the bell towers um, by using a helicopter um, that's in, in some of my tips videos but look the best thing about this weapon is there is absolutely zero drop due to gravity unlike the uh, the recurve bow or the, or the normal bow, um, the, uh, huntsman bow sorry, there is zero drop due to gravity. You don't need to adjust, you don't need to worry about it falling down uh, over a great distance. As you see back there, taking a shot from a fair range and it landed exactly where I said to. Now the other great thing about this weapon is its quick fire rate. It's, uh, it's, for when you're hunting animals, it's an absolute must have because as you know, when you hunt animals, if you kill them with bows uh, or knives, you get double the amount of skins. I think you need to un unlock a perk for doing that. However, here is another great thing about this weapon. It's long range uh, accuracy. That is the fundamental beauty of this. It's silent, it's long range, and it's one shot, one kill for most enemies you come across, yeah? Um, some of the heavier guys need two or three bolts in them to, uh, to take them down. But when you're coming up against a, a stronghold or a fortress, taking out the snipers or the long range guys uh, with one of these is, is absolutely essential. Now, this weapon, the buzzsaw, oh my god. I, I mean... I kneel down to this weapon. It's the god of all weapons in Far Cry, uh, Far Cry 4 at least. It's unbelievably powerful, ridiculously overpowered. Um, there is nothing that can stand in its way. And look at that, absolutely zero recoil, nothing. Doesn't even flinch. It's ridiculous. These guys... I mean, it's, it's crazy. Three bullets, they're gone. It's like having uh, an automatic sniper rifle uh, in your hand. A nice AR, AR scope to go with it. But look at those guys. These guys normally take uh, several shots with any other gun, including the shredder, to take down. Um, you normally have to go for headshots. But look, you can uh, some of the heavy guys, you can shoot any way you like uh, with this gun, and it will absolutely wipe them out. 
almost vaporizing them in mid in midair. But there are oh, there's another one for vaporizing later, which I'll show you very very shortly. And look at that long range, short range. There's a guy right up top there. Bam, gone, absolutely wiped out. This gun is ridiculous. It also is uh, amazing at taking out vehicles, as you can see here, a jeep. Well, that took a fair amount of time. Just note that amount of time uh, compared to taking out helicopters. Now these. If you haven't got a rocket launcher with you, if you've got the buzzsaw, you need not worry, guys. Look at that. One one round, one burst, one well, a few clips, probably about a quarter of the magazine gone. And it's an and it's a it's a goner. Helicopters are like butter to this hot knife called the buzzsaw. Now, next up, um this grenade launcher, the GLA eighty seven. Uh now to get uh, the GLA eighty seven you have to just complete the the main story. Um, to get the full one, it is just something you unlock in the main story. There's another grenade launcher I'm coming back to in a minute, um, but this grenade launcher is ridiculous. Oh, I didn't tell you, by the way, the buzzsaw. Um, you need to liberate 17 bell towers to get that. Um, same as the autocross. In fact, you liberate 17, you get both those weapons at the same time. But look, sorry, back to this beautiful grenade launcher. Two-handed, uh, it's fairly heavy, so uh, it won't go in your sidearm slot, unlike the next one I'm going to show you. But look at it, it makes short work of any vehicle, any heavy, um, but look at this, it vaporizes people. You can make people disappear with this grenade launch, look at that. Um, there's one slight disadvantage to that, of course, is you've got nothing to loot afterwards. You can't loot the dead body afterwards if they don't exist, simply they are gone. You're like David Copperfield with this gun, you just make them disappear, it's, it is magic. Okay, next up is the, the sidearm uh, grenade launcher, the M79. Uh, again, high damage, but it is really handy. Uh, until you've unlocked the autocross, this is something you can carry on with, around with you. You only need to unlock eight bell towers to get this weapon, uh, and is one of the best little sidearms to carry with you for, for just a multitude of reasons. Um, it's got great explosive, um, great explosive damage uh, area, and oh, I like this, like this kill. See the guy at the back there? He sort of stands up after he's died to uh, fall over over the cliff. Um, you can take vehicles out with it with pretty much one shot, get multi-kills with it, um, but it is just an uh, absolutely ridiculous Superman, uh, ridiculously useful weapon to have with you. Now, this this lesson, this sorry, this video would not be complete without the recurve bow. Now, I've already made another video on how to use this. Uh, I'll put it in the in the description below. Um, it shows you how to to use the bow and estimate uh, the range uh, away from from you that your enemies are. That you can choose the right um, part of the cross site, the marksman site, to kill. And you'll be pulling off some of these uh, 80 meter kills pretty easily with a bit of practice. Um, but the, this this weapon has a few other advantages apart from being fun to use and learn how to use. Uh, you've got some extra attachments. Now, if you hold down the L1 button on the PS4 and then hit the uh, I think it's the triangle button there it will allow you to use an explosive arrow. Look at that. I've, I've taken down some of the convoys with this thing in just a couple of arrow shots. It is well worth having. Um, takes a little while to get some of these extra arrow types, but uh, once you've got them, you will not regret it. And you've got the flame arrow too. Now there's a, there's a, a trophy or a, an achievement you can get for, for kills with fire. Hey, this is a really easy way to do it without using a flamethrower. Um, but look at that absolutely amazing weapon to have with you um, however I had to pick four weapons for my perfect loadout and I've come up with this you guys this is my personal preference top uh, auto crosses my sidearm uh, the shredder to my right which is just an amazing this grenade launcher I mean unbelievable however the buds the buzzsaw will stop anywhere none of where none of the others can where all others fail the buzzsaw will get anything in your way it is amazing Okay, so just to uh, to make a point and just to show you use of all these weapons in one loadout, uh, I'm just going to show you this little video where I was taking over um, this this camp. A uh, couple of shots with the the autocross. Again, one shot. It's very satisfying getting headshots with this thing, um, but it's a great weapon to have. Make sure you put um, the attachment, the the dot sight attachment on it. Here we go to the grenade launcher. They, they mince me. It's just impossible. Nobody can stop me with this loadout. Now this guy, right? I have no idea why, um, but there seems to be some kind of invisible wall between uh, me and him. Uh, well, though it's a half, half sort of cockeyed brick wall. But he didn't die from those three shots. Now it's a bit rare. So we come back to the buzzsaw. 
uh, the invincible gun of, of all of these uh, in Far Cry 4. It is just ridiculous. Some say uh, using the buzzsaw kind of takes some of the fun out of the game. Believe me, they're wrong. You can, you'll always have fun with that, with that gun. It's wicked. Look at this. Just mows them down. They do not stand a chance. Absolutely love it. And uh, back to the grenade launcher <laughs> for the uh, last moment of fun here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope you enjoyed the loadout. Please tell me what are your favorite weapons? What are the ones you you like to use the most? Um, please give me a like um, if, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite weapons are. And uh, subscribe to me if you haven't done so already. That would be awesome. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you soon. Good night.